<laughs> Hello, welcome one and all to Tales from the Closet. Welcome viewers, welcome listeners. If you're listening to this as a podcast, know that there's also a video component and you too can know that there are some real lingerie vibes going on with these curtains. They get real lacy and red at the top. Uh, one time I did hook up with someone who was wearing all red lingerie and I left because that's a nightmare. No. Um, <laughs> It was too matchy. Too it much? felt very Stepfordy. You're you're crazy. You're crazy. What? <laughs> you like that? That's gross. I don't I, like it. I'm not gonna you leave. Love yeah. that. I'm not gonna leave. I didn't leave you didn't in the like moment. That it was I had an excuse. Okay. That it was red or work. matching was what bothered you. It was matching red lace, and it was so shocking to me. <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> Well, I, laughing like, oh, laughing is fine. I thought you said you sad. left. I just went, whoa. And then left. like, yeah. no, I didn't. We thought you left. Oh, Great. this is getting way out of hand. <laughs> I am likable as a host <laughs> and a friend. So I got to go was, change my lingerie it, right now. It, no, it, please just, uh, keep it on. Okay. We do all have to strip halfway through okay, this show. Um, Down. It was a one night stand. I don't owe her anything. She didn't owe me anything. Okay. It just didn't work out. All right, so Lithia, <laughs> I am sorry. Um, okay, welcome to the show. Let's uh, let's meet our guests today. Uh, three people that I really like. I'm happy to have them. Let's start down there. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm, well, I'm Grant O'Brien. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, identify as bisexual. Uh, right. Is that something we're doing? No, I just no, great, decided yes. to do that. Yes, uh, uh, I did bring you all here. Uh, this is a very sexual orientation focused <laughs> vodcast. <laughs> it is. I mean, it is, though. Uh, yeah. I am. I identify as a, a cis male bisexual. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, am... Uh, Christ, guys, you know who I am. If anyone's yeah. fucking listening to this, what am I supposed to say? Like, yeah, we, yeah, you've seen a thousand times. Give us a new fact. Give uh, us a new fact. A new fact. I'm trying to eat 100 grams of protein a day <laughs> oh uh, because I'm I'm in a bulking phase right what now. What does so that lifting. look like? Is that a steak? Is that multiple steaks? Yeah, you, I mean, you're eating. I I'll do I'll, I'll do a couple of uh, uh, meat centric meals, mm -hmm. uh, probably a protein shake, and then maybe some Greek yogurt uh, for breakfast. Are you and seeing some results? Butter. Are you seeing the bulk? I'm, I'm putting on some size. Yeah, you know, you got to go heavy with that. You don't want to. You don't want to only be doing that and expect results. You've really got to put in the work. Mm, this fascinates me. I have friends who will just <laughs> eat multiple boxes of like mac and cheese when they're bulking. They eat like the Is worst the fucking thing? food. I don't think that's the same thing. It, I mean, well. They look gorgeous. They're like ripped bartenders, and they're eating mac and cheese every night. Yeah, like, I can't do that. I'll get I'll get skinny guy gut if I'm not careful. Yeah. I'll get like you know like the fucking ooh he drinks beer. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> full like troll doll. Yeah, it's not gonna yeah. work. No, I've got to work out and watch what I eat. All right, great. Moving on. Uh, please introduce yourself and <laughs> what kind of diet are you <laughs> oh, on? <God. laughs> See, I look at, in the gay community, body issues are really a thing. Yeah, so. true. Honestly, <laughs> um, I'm not on a diet. Uh, my name is Teresa Lee. Hello, Woo! what's up? I'm also bi. Hey, <laughs> um, I I'm not. I, I ma I'm making a lot of smoothies. I bought a blender, and trying to just. I don't know. Use it, I guess. Great. Very exciting. I'm really glad you picked this. Yeah. Let's all get really self-conscious about yeah, the way sure. we look yeah. and then <laughs> talk for an hour. This turns into a fitness podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Next up. Hey, uh, I'm Ryan Parton. Oh! Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, I wish more people did that after yeah. I said that. Um, I I am I fully lean gay. <laughs> I fully I am on the Kinsey scale. I'm definitely a six. Um, <laughs> what? Or a one? What am I? Wait, a six? Ooh. Is it six? Yeah, six is like oh, you it's know. Out of ten. ten. Okay. Oh, I Thanks, thought it was girl. out of ten. I don't no, know. Dude. And that was a shocking. Well, I thought it was that out was of a hundred. I don't know. <laughs> well, let me educate I'm very you. gay. I'm married to a woman and yeah. I love her. Um, <laughs> I'm a six. Okay, you are a six. Yeah. I. Great. You know, guys are great. They're the worst, but they're great. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of food, uh, uh, I just started working at this like new bakery. And at the end of the day, like they ha they make their own bread and their pastries. And they're like, take everything. No. Because they don't want to like waste it oh right now. Oh my God, that's amazing. It was awful. I have no room <laughs> in my fridge and I'm going to take more stuff. 
Oh my god. Home. That's the best. Like, I used to live above a bakery and I would go go dance. I'd get home really late and then they would give me free bread on my way home and it was the best. I no it. It way. So that oh is Oh my god. You just described my Pretty dream. Yeah. <laughs> just described yeah, being a like go go dancer yeah. and then getting free bread afterwards. Yeah. That's yeah. literally all I want to <laughs> do. It's like a nineties movie. Like a club <laughs> kid. Yeah, like, yeah, indie yeah. darling. <laughs> yeah. To me it's like an edgy Miyazaki film. Okay. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's like some magic cat that yeah, go go <laughs> and like finds free bread oh, on I would love that bike. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, great. Who are and you? I am I am Allie Beardsley, the host of this uh, show. I am trans, <laughs> so uh, which makes me gay? Question mark. I don't know. I'm it's I'm in I'm gender in the middle, and I'm into mostly women. So uh, help, <laughs> God! Someone tell me how to identify myself. What are you doing these days? These days, I uh, I did just house maybe two people's worth of Mediterranean food before mm. this. Um, they gave us lunch. They gave us lunch. It was gorgeous. Uh, but I do work out. I do. I do a little treadmill. I do a little lifting in my room, oh. as though I'm gonna ever be able to do a push up. I'm <laughs> so afraid to run outside because I don't know how I what I look like when I run. Oh, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Like when I drive and I see people run, I don't really judge them, but I'm just like, okay, yeah, that's how that person. But I don't know what mine. You never look know like. if you're like a wild runner. I think I'm a wild runner. <laughs> yeah. I'm a flailer. That's, I, why, that's why I swim. It's because like mostly, I mostly now. I can't be seen. Wow. Right. Wow. I just don't work out. So. Look, and you, <laughs> yeah. you got to be careful though when you're when you're trying to put on size because. <clears throat> If you do too much cardio, you're gonna, you're really gonna lo- uh, sacrifice your gains for that. Swimming though does have some resistance Interesting. involved. Interesting. Now nice. we are gonna uh, move into show? our Cue first. Music, no. <laughs> <laughs> our first bit in the show is all about macros. Um, so we. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, but this is a show. It is called Tales from the Closet because we have all made it out of the closet in our own individual ways. Some people were born deep deep in the closet. Uh, some people were born right outside, and I'm so happy that you grew up in Brooklyn. <laughs> um, <laughs> and this, just this, everyone's journey is individual. So uh, you guys, I would like to hear some of your tales from the closet. Maybe a moment where you were like, oh, I might be gay, that moment that it occurred to you. Or maybe even earlier than that. I watched The Lion King, and when Nala <laughs> pinned Simba, I was like, I'm gay. Yeah. And I don't know what that meant, because uh, they were hetero, I guess. Also cartoons and animals, so mm. this is just like Nala layer. could <laughs> get it, <Yeah. laughs> and yeah. I am Nala's sorry. Hot. There were some hot cartoon cats when, right? we, were, when we were growing up. Okay, oh, true. I don't know if you guys will remember this, but this is such a like formative memory for me. There's a squirrel <gasps> in, in the yeah, yeah, Oh my God, so <laughs> There's Are a you? squirrel. Wow. Like, yes. rat. He she turns is. into a squirrel. I and she falls into a game. Oh my you God. Remember wait, this? Yes, wait. Which, we're talking about like the hot squirrel the hot, or like the, the hot, other squirrel. The no, no. gorgeous, sweet <laughs> squirrel that falls in love with him. Yeah. And she wraps him in her tail, which yeah. was like, hi. So yeah, right. you're all going to wow. be into bondage now. <laughs> yeah, I. that's a great scene. It's also yeah. a great film. Mm-hmm. It's, I don't remember the squirrel. I know. So oh uh, usually. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no one remembers. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and then she gets really sad, yes. and I cried. And I and was he like, turns back into a human, and she's yeah. like beating him because she's like, "You forgot about me." <laughs> you are right, though. As far as squirrels go, it's the hottest squirrel I've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lola Bunny was one of my. Oh first yeah, yeah. Also, recently realized why does like why do most cartoon characters that are girls wear clothes? And then the men don't. Bugs Bunny doesn't wear clothes, but Lola wears like hot clothes. Oh yeah, so weird. In the rules of the universe, mm. is Bugs like naked and just showing his dong, or like that? Yes. You know what I think it is. <laughs> like, what's this going is on? a fully its own topic. But there are like illegal parts of like a woman's body. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's not okay. I remember when I was like young, I would always walk around shirtless. Mm -hmm. And then we went to a water park and I have this memory of my mom like freaking out that I was just going in like trunks. And she was like, you, like you can't be topless. This is a public place. And that's when I learned like, part of your body is like not okay. Be ashamed. It was like, oh my God, that's crazy. And I didn't have like deep, (laughs) boob like I wasn't like a kid with like huge (laughs) boobs I had like nothing there but she was like you gotta put this tankini on yeah it's the way we police women's bodies is is 
does and terrible harm to society. Yeah. Toxic masculinity affects men and women. And Absolutely. It, and it is and insidious. Bunnies. Yeah. And, and bunnies, bunnies now fucking. Lola had to put on a crop top. <laughs> Truly, if more. Uh, if we felt less shame, more women would just show their tits all the time. Yes, because we want to be shirtless, and also it's some of it's because nobody wants to like uh, you know be wrong if the law says no. But like I think people feel comfortable shirtless. Yes, and I think it would be a win-win for everyone if men stop freaking out about boobs. Yeah, you could see more boobs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you're stop not freaking so out thirsty about boobs, all the time, you could be surrounded by boobs. Yeah, all you can the get time. more water. Yeah, yeah, you can get exactly. more water. It shocks me when people are anti-free the nipple. Yeah, I'm always like wait really and they're like yeah i saw this woman breastfeeding on the train and i'm like that's something else <laughs> that that scared you because you're afraid to have a family but like <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, yeah that scares me the thought of being mature enough to have a child scares me to death yeah but that is not about masculinity that's not about free the nipple. no 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 that's because of my peter pan complex <laughs> <laughs> can you guys both show your nipples really quick yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All of us. Sure, all right. <laughs> yeah. just That's, we can do anything on this show. <laughs> um, but no one would want to be on it if they ever saw that. I just say, take out your nipple right now. That's for the Patreon. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you donate $10, I will send you a zoomed in photo of my nipple <laughs> that you'll never know if it really is or not. There was one, I remember uh, with women when I was like little, I'd always be like, yeah, I like their boobs to be smaller. And then as I got older, I like learned like, like I never got it when my guy friends were like, I love boobs, man. And I'd be like, yeah, me too. But like the small ones. And then eventually it was like nothing. And I was like, that's, that's what I want. I love that's her much. like hairy chest, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like it when she has like almost no boobs, but yeah. it is like chiseled yeah. and she's like And when her hairy. beard rubs against my ear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love circus, the circus. Oh yeah, I always was had crushes on boys with rosacea because it looked like blush. Sure. And I was like, oh, What's I'm rosacea? Gay. It's like Just, that skin where like it's really red and blotchy. Mm. And then th I thought they were beautiful. I love that. That's, That's also so really cute. That's <laughs> also that it's blush, that it looks like makeup. It's like, oh, that it looks like it's gorgeous. I always like it because it means I'm constantly flattering them or making them feel <laughs> oh, uncomfortable. Like, you, when you calm down, they're yeah. like, no, this is, I see a dermatologist <laughs> is, <yeah>. <laughs> at <laughs> nine. <laughs> but you know he's got like great steroid creams. Yeah. Like the good I'm shit. Try, I'm trying to get an eye off that <laughs> steroid cream, baby. <laughs> Um, what was your question? Uh, any tale from ah. any closet you've ever been in. Ah. Mm. Uh, me first. Yes. Well, uh, <laughs> I um, wish I hadn't made a sound uh, to, to call everyone's <laughs> attention my direction. Uh, I remember once um, I was doing my paper route. I had a paper route uh, Aww, in so middle school and high school. In the 60s? <laughs> <laughs> you know, print media was alive. <laughs> the four seasons were at the top of the charts. Um, no, we, uh, and on Sundays, you had, it was the big paper, and so you'd get most of, like, the stuff on, like, Friday, and then you'd fill the actual paper on, on Saturdays. Um, called stuffing the papers, uh, mm. uh, uh, and I was getting the papers ready, and I was I was in a real mood. Uh, I did it out in my garage. Uh, I just had a fight with my brother, and he called me gay. Um, and I was, you know, really I was really in it. And my my dad walks by and says, "Hey, you okay?" And I'm like, "No, uh, what's what's wrong?" Uh, and uh, Pat called me gay, uh, and my dad said like. Do you think you might be? <laughs> oh boy! Um, which at the time, yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. No, loved it. Love dick. Still do. <laughs> yeah. Can't get enough. <laughs> Fucking cockhound. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, at the time, so I said no. Uh, <laughs> my dad says, "Are you sure?" <laughs> oh my god! And I said yes. Uh, and I was like, "Okay." Because if you are, it's fine. <laughs> I really like you were no on trial. Way. I this was is a witch hunt. I was, uh, which is like, yeah, that like that kept me in the closet probably for another two years. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, don't make me think about it because there's nothing scarier than feeling like you're not getting away with it. Yes. Like when you yeah. like when you're closet, it's like, oh, the act isn't working. Oh fuck. Oh, this is a nightmare. The scariest thing about the closet is having to 
keep the closet door closed. Totally. Is, yeah. like, is holding yeah. on to the knob with everything you got. Yeah. And also it's, just to admit your parents are right about anything is. Yeah. No, yeah, I didn't yeah, really be like, no. Yeah, on. you don't know me. Yeah. I sure. Just, you've I seen me in a bunch of musicals, but. <laughs> 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 I imagine you like leaving, like crying, and like all your boas, like slapping it away. <laughs> yeah, like, on your bike. Running away. Yeah. Put it, put, going to my. I truly think I went to my room and put on Jesus Christ Superstar very loud. Oh like, yeah. To really. <laughs> yeah. To really protest. I that. love that. <laughs> it is. Aww. No, it, and also I feel like I don't know if it's like this for kids now, but like saying gay and fag was like so normal. A fag was everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. and anything you did it was like that's gay, and you're like, ha, ha, ha. and you're like, oh cool, I'm like subconsciously absorbing this as like a negative, and of, no wonder none of us like. Yeah, I don't know when you guys. Yeah, the '90s that, were weird because it was like, um, it was like I remember it was like just boys at school dressing up as cheerleaders was just like inherently funny yeah, it was yeah. Like, just like people did it all the time and that was like our i guess sense oh my of humor God. back then if you watch <laughs> any episode of friends there's yeah, like oh, the, so i've homophobic. been watching friends like oh yeah i remember this was like the best show ever and like just the intro is joey being like yeah i, I broke up with this woman because she had an adam's apple and everyone's like Joey, that Joey, wasn't you dodged a, a bullet. woman, and he's like, "What?" It's like all like fully transphobic, and you're like, laugh track is like squealing in the background, and you're like, "This is a nightmare." Well, and that's, oh god. So, as a sociology professor, I can say <laughs> that the, the the insidious part of microaggressions is that you can't write off the aggressor. Mm -hmm. If someone's being aggressive, you can say, "Well, that's a bad person." Of course, they're be behaving badly, but it's those microaggressions that really totally. stick. It's like, but they're a good person, or that's a popular show, and yeah. they say gay is yeah. bad, so mm -hmm. it must be bad. Totally, yeah, fully. This is a comedy show, right? This, this is a comedy is a podcast. Fun, funny what are we doing comedy here? Comedy podcast. Uh, yeah. I'll I'll tell my story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it's a little like uh, later in my life because I I didn't find out I was or I didn't come out to myself till college. Mm -hmm. So I think I because I'm bi and I like I would get crushes on girls but also on boys. So every time mm -hmm. I got a crush on a boy, I'd be like, well. And also, oh yeah, I forgot to say this. My mom told me when I was young that nobody uh, that you just nothing counts before you're 18. So because I would be like kind of like ask her like, oh, what if I like girls? And she's like, well. Um, you can like anyone. It just doesn't count till you turn eighteen. Oh, I wish. These, that's why I you got, got pregnant. <laughs> wow. I wish I got that paper. <laughs> so, and I think honestly, well, I don't want to put out my mom, but I think she may be also by. Well, that's um, what I'm saying. Is like these things that our parents say. Yeah. You're like that's so telling. It's so weird. Like, she would wait, say like, "Mom, what did you do before no, you were eighteen? Straight 18? up, she would say, "Women are the peacock. Like how peacocks are the hot ones of uh, or the what is male peacocks are the hot ones. Oh yeah, yeah. A peacock. She's like, that's what women are for humans." So everyone likes women. So everybody's gonna have crushes on girls. Oh, honey, you're not gay. Everyone likes she women. She literally <laughs> was like, women are. Take it from me, a heterosexual woman. <laughs> yeah. Everyone loves women. So. so I just internalized it. But anyways, in college, wow. I um, was like, okay, well maybe this is something. Uh, and I would get. I had this crush on this girl in my film class, and. Um, she was so hot. I'm still friends with her. She might watch us, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever told her this, but I just had a huge crush on her. <laughs> just better. stalk her yeah. Facebook photos. Um, and then we would kind of like, like we've definitely vibed. Like we were flirting. I thought she was straight. She would tell me about boys she dated. Um, then we uh, we like would go on, like we would have these dates where just be like, I in my mind, I'm like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a move. But I was like, I'm not gay. So what kind of move? I don't know. <laughs> and it would be like, do you want, it would be like, do you want to make brownies and drink wine? And then and I'd be like, are we actually going to make brownies? And then I'd show up, <laughs> and then we'd make brownies, and then we'd sit on the bed, <laughs> like, just side by side, like, just touching and just, like, drinking wine. and no, Chugging yeah. wine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd just be like, you're, I'm so you're confused. You're making her drink, like, here, have I just a little, a little, a little yeah. more. Why don't you just, just drink up? Straight up, so much tension, so confused. And eventually oh I was like, God. whatever, just a phase. I probably wasn't even a crush. What was that? Then flash forward, like I turned 22 after college, she came to my birthday party, uh, brought a girl, so I was like, okay, and then made out with me, so I was like, okay, and then made out with everyone, <laughs> and what? I was like, oh, okay, and then, uh, yeah, so then she was yeah. like, no, but then she was like, I like girls and guys, uh, 
but also I'm kind of a slut. <laughs> no, she's, she's not like, a slut. I like to not be tied down. At the time I was so happy and then immediately so sad. That, yeah. Cause you Cause, were like, finally it happened. And yeah. then you looked over and she was like making out with yep. somebody else. So anyway, so Just anyways, now we're friends. We never dated, um, but it was uh, a weird, very confusing. I had so many times of my like life. that, like the early dates I went on, I was so, it was like right out of, I also came out in college uh-huh. or like right after. Cause it was so such a religious upbringing for me, mm-hmm. so it was like impossible to be gay. It was like, n- I'm not gay, absolutely, and like <laughs> digging my heels into the ground until the very last minute. So then going on dates was like insane whiplash. I was like, I'm on a, I'm on a hiking date with a woman, like, uh, and I would just end up at people's houses, like <laughs> sitting like fully erect, like on the end of their bed, and they'd be like, Do you want to sit like on the bed normally? And I'd be like, Yes, I do. And, like <laughs> scoot my rigid body to the end and be like, They're like, Do you want to watch a movie? Which now I know is code for like, mm-hmm. Let's turn off the lights and hook up, like, or at least like get cute. No, no, yeah. you finished the film. I, my finished. belt yeah. would be on, my <laughs> shoes would be on, credits would roll. We oh have watched no. the entire movie. They'd be like, do you want to sleep over? And I'd be like, yes, I do need sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like, turn over. <laughs> and I started calling this pencil diving because I would just be like, a rigid oh. <laughs> pencil in these people's beds set my alarm for like six in the morning and like book it oh, and Allie. count that as a like, I did it. I was like, cool. Oh that my gosh. I I slept over at someone's house. I'm like really coming out of my shell no. these days. Oh, yeah. Did they ever try to make a move? Or yeah, were you I, both like, I remember a few it. like nice like back rubs, like good night. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it like stays there and, but like I'm so in panic mode that I couldn't even enjoy it. I'd just yeah. be like, just breathe through. <laughs> I know, it's true. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> great, Very polite great, great, great. podcast here. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have like a couple. I'm thinking of like the one. I remember this thought. Like this is so. Because I also came out very late. I actually Ooh. didn't even. I like broke up. I had a girlfriend and we broke up. And it was the summer of my senior year in high school. And I remember the first. The first ink link I ever got was. I was like working at my job. Like like helping back someone up like checking them out on the register Mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden i was like checking him out Mm -hmm. but like i didn't know what that was and he left and i was like what was that (gasps) what just happened to me and then that was like the one seed that was the seed that was like you do like guys I, i don't know like what so that was like a very crazy journey but like i remember the exact time that i was like oh i am for sure gay is because whenever i'd make out or like kiss a girl i'd have a countdown be like, okay, I'm gonna do this for like 18 seconds, and then like no. that'll be oh my yeah, God. no, yeah, you so did, yeah, for sure. And then so like I, you can imagine how annoying it would be to be like, okay, we're done, and she'd be like, and I'd just be like, oh my God, okay, she gets eight now. But like, oh my God, what a job. Um, what? A- so I Wait, clocking you, into work. Are you a Virgo? No, full okay. Scorpio. Oh my oh God! God. Okay. Oh, it yeah. sounds like a Virgo thing to do. Oh God, who gives a fuck? <laughs> uh, I'm a I'm a Taurus for this pretend science. You are classic, the classic, classic Taurus. That's honestly. how I knew I was gay. Taurus. Is I liked astrology. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Completely. Um, but I do, I remember I was at this like 18 and up bar, my like in Arizona because I came back from college, like changed. Um, and I like, I like kissed my first guy and I was like, OK, I could do this for a while, like yes. for a solid time, like you at least 40 down. seconds. Yeah, <laughs> at least 40. But only because I need to go get another drink, girl. Um, yeah, that was like kind of a big. Was, that was it a big, big relief? Like, yeah. You kissed a guy, uh, it was like, like oh. breathing. I was like okay like i get the thing now totally. it, it is such a thing to come out to yourself mm-hmm. to like say like oh no i That's am so true because I, I like when i was in like middle school i had i had my like group of like five guys that i yeah. jack off with <laughs> <laughs> instead of like oh, jacking okay. off yeah, with yeah. dudes that in thing middle that school we all do in middle school uh and yeah. even th- and i and i was instigating that i was like i was like i you were the horn dog i was behind yeah. it's like hey we're ha- we're having a sleepover okay great let's uh let's put on a porno great we're definitely putting on a porno and then we you know we'd we'd jack off which if you're watching this and any of your friends if you're to sleepover whoever pulls out the pornos uh 
queer. Pulls out pornos, trying to see you naked. Uh, There's a David Sedaris short story about this. Uh, like, it's so funny, and he's at a sleepover, and it's his first one with like all young boys, and he knows he's so gay, and he's trying to hide it. And everyone's in like basketball shorts and they're like, let's all wrestle. And he's like, I can't let this happen. So he pulls out a deck of cards and is like, no, let's play poker. Like, so that they're all like around a table. Oh my That's so God. And he's like, but then he gets selfish again and he's like, let's play strip poker. And he, he changes all the rules and he makes everyone else strip except for him. That's, that's honestly so genius. Hot. I know. That's so that's hot. So cute. Oh, that's but I'm so like, hot. oh my God, yes. Honestly, ju- just the basketball shirts alone is hot. That's hot. <laughs> I stopped listening at basketball I was shorts. I was somewhere else. <laughs> did you guys? Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, did you guys ever, because when you were like coming out to yourself, it's like the, a big thing. Like when my like seed got planted, I used to do the thing where with anything, traffic, I'd be playing a video game or something would happen. I'd be like, if this happens this way, I'm straight. Yeah. Oh, and then yes. when it doesn't happen that way and it's like I might be gay, I'll be like, okay, but that was like a test. Oh my a God. Practice yes. run. I, I had something, actually, I totally forgot about it until you just said that, but I was like in love with this guy that I like followed to New York and wrote a letter to saying I want to lose my virginity to him. It's like a whole long Wrote story. a letter. Yes. Oh Anyways, did but, you hand him the letter? No, in I person? mailed it to Amsterdam um, where Wait, he lived. What? He moved. Anyways, she just mailed uh, it across. Wow. He didn't, he didn't run away from was me. Was it me? <laughs> <laughs> I too lived in Amsterdam. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? No. Uh, this guy, but I forgot about this, but I was in love with him. And then he, one time we hooked up and I was like so happy. And I remember just walking down the street in New York one day and thinking to myself, out of nowhere, I had this thought. I was like, if this guy, this is how much I love him. If he tells me he's actually a woman, I will still love him. Oh and my god! I was like, gosh. where did that thought come from? I love that. <laughs> I, oh my I had gosh. it come out to myself. And now I'm like, oh, that's probably like my way of being like, you like women. <laughs> if he tells me he's a woman, I will still love yeah. him. That is so real. Yeah. I, feel like. I, I feel forgot like about that. That's funny. I had so many I had so many like moments of relief that were really telling. Like mm-hmm. when I would meet a guy and it went well, I would be like, Oh god, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Like, cause yeah. now the gay stuff's off the table. It's like, no, it's absolutely still there. <laughs> yeah. And I know what you mean, because you just it's like a win, it's a point for you. Yeah. To be like, mm-hmm. yeah, there's no way. What's that one line? Uh if there's no gay cousins, you're the gay cousin. Yeah. Oh thing. yeah. It's totally. like you're like cool, cool, cool. I I miss it and it's dead. And then you're like, yeah. No, 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 it's it's me, it's girl. You, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Someone had a tweet recently, uh, Jess Tom, do you guys know Oh, yeah, them? yeah. They're so funny, them. and they tweeted, uh, having a gay cousin is a privilege. <laughs> yeah. I've got I've got a huge Irish Catholic family. Oh, yeah, right. And so I've got a bunch of gay cousins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, there's like the, the homo crew at, at yeah. Christmas. <laughs> uh, it's great. That's great. It's great. I have a twin sister. She's straight. But she's cool. Um, but she's cool. But we'll well, let her in. Yeah. But she hey. actually had like kissed a girl before I did, and I'm like, how did you get to do that before I did? It's mean. I feel yeah. like there's so many. Hmm? We just push people away. We, yeah. yeah. When you're, yeah, when you like, don't absolutely care, it's like, not. But when yeah. you're, you're like, nope. For straight people, like this would be so fun, and wouldn't this be funny? And you're like, this would yeah, actually no. be life changing yeah. to me. So no, <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Great. Let's move on. Our uh. Each episode, we are going to have a haunted word, Ooh. a scary word. In this episode, <gasps> cool, <laughs> it is. I can't wait. Oh my god! Ooh. Okay, yeah. there's gonna be some stagecraft here. Are you ready? Yeah, <clears throat> barely. The scary haunted I saw word. It get whispered. I know what it is. I saw it get whispered. What I is know it? What it is. It's locker room. It's locker room. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just, uh, each episode we're gonna have a word, and, uh, you just say the first thing that comes to your mind when the word locker room is used. It could be current day, it could be a tale from the closet. I feel attacked. (laughs) Yeah. I feel like this is directed at me. This is absolutely directed at Grant's, uh... (laughs) favorite weekend activity i mean i didn't say cialis sauna so (laughs) (laughs) baby i don't need cialis (laughs) no baby (laughs) no i um 
I feel like <laughs> I'll, start here. I'll start it off because sure. I feel like locker room when we're talking about when we're coming out mm-hmm. or when we're still, you know, we're specifically kind of right now talking about the middle school, high yeah, school. Yeah, two very mm-hmm. different experiences. Like now locker room versus middle school locker right. room is very different. Right. Totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like I was definitely the kid that like, you know, you like, ch- you change as fast as you can. Because like I was like, I just want to change real fast to like no one because you're still figuring it out Mm -hmm. but the locker room for me was also kind of a place where it would be very much like okay like i'm gonna look at my locker but like oh let's look to my left (laughs) oh my god bobby oh my god Mm -hmm. okay okay Mm -hmm. that's i see crazy you know you just because you're curious oh wait i have a question in guys locker rooms do you guys like walk around with their junk out like to show off Guy, I feel like guys are crazy. Oh, they're like, they're like, it's like a full. You sound projection. like you have Stockholm syndrome. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> like men are insane, yeah. and I do love. Them. I hate it. I hate that this is the hand I've been done. <laughs> no, I mean, like. Uh, <laughs> like, like in middle school, like for gym class, yeah. there's you know you don't have to get naked. You're not changing your underwear to go to gym class, um, which and is yet, crazy. And yet, you know, there I still saw so many dicks. <laughs> I loved the locker room in middle school for exactly that reason because it's like, oh, I'm gonna see a fucking D, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> There was, I remember like a couple times, there was like a spell when I went to a Catholic school um, uh, with a very small class, there were like 20 guys. And for a spell, like the joke was for a few guys to jack off into another guy's shoes. What? Uh, and I was you, so in oh favor my, of oh it. Oh my God. I was so Therefore, in favor of, of it. God, I, 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 I. I laughed hardest at that joke and would be right there to watch the whole thing. It was a goddamn dream. No. Wow. Oh, man. That's crazy. That's, I saw... What? What were, I, what were your guys' locker room? No, the reason, everyone was jacking off in yeah, your yeah, shoe. Yeah, just coming into shoes all the time. <laughs> no, the reason you I asked you that is because that was like a thing in girls' locker rooms. And like girls who had boobs early would oh. show off their boobs oh, and they'd walk yeah. around. And the hot girls especially. There was one hot girl who went on to be like a... NFL cheerleader or whatever she was hot through the rest of her life god bless her uh, she's now dead she's, she's now dead now in hot Rest heaven in she's in hot heaven uh. but she like had boobs she was like perfect and then she would um like in the middle of changing just like walk around and go up to her friend and just talk to her friend and have a conversation probably to show up but just be like oh my god like what's up how's it going and I was just like oh my god you are that's so crazy. You are describing Just, the girl I wish I could be in high school. I wish I like, know. That's who I yes. am. I want it. But she <laughs> oh yelled. Oh my God, yes. So she yelled at a girl, not me, thank God, but there was this like kind of like, there's always like a weird person in your PE class and probably very nice. I'm so sorry, uh, Sunny. Her name was Sunny. And she would stare. And then, of course, because this girl's walking around trying to get attention. And then so she made fun of. This girl, Brianna, made fun of Sunny for staring. And I remember being like, don't look, don't look. And that Mm. means the new rule. That's crazy (laughs) because the locker room never affected me because I I feel like like a woman could be like in like a, she's in like a short skirt. And that was never something that I was like, oh my God, I'm gay. But Mm. it was when someone was like, hey, like, how was your week? Or like really nice. Or like they would like help like the old teacher pick up his papers or something. I was like. Oh, I'm gay. Oh, <laughs> Allie. Sure. I know. Oh, it was no. never like a hot body. Oh, it was like God. someone who was like deeply kind. And I was like, <laughs> I want to like support you. <sighs> Whatever you need. Like, I have extra time this week. Like, I don't know. You want to like life are... up. I was like, I need a thought. Like, I'm like, really? That's, no. I mean, good at sports was definitely something for me. Like, everyone on the soccer team, I was like, <laughs> and hi. Oh, soccer you need teams. A... Like, the soccer, soccer, teams, the soccer boys generally. Gender, yeah, yeah. yeah, soccer. Uh, uh, first of all, I- anyone who plays soccer is gay. Uh, mm-hmm. And anyone <laughs> yeah. who plays soccer is hot. Yeah. A bunch of hot gay people hot, play soccer yeah. and no people. straight people. Yeah. So if you play soccer, welcome. You're welcome. welcome. Yeah. If you have some sort of a white jersey with like red accents. Yeah, your Emirates jersey is fucking hot. <laughs> it's fucking sexy. That's what I put on any profile. I say I play soccer. And then when we meet in person, I just say I quit. No, ah, <laughs> no, but now I will. Do you do you play soccer? I quit. <laughs> oh my god! How long do you play? Oh my, oh god. my god! And then it begins. Wait, what profiles do you guys have? What profiles? Who who uses dating apps? 
I can't use that. I like tr- went on and off for so long. They never worked for me, they, so I yeah. stopped. Using I'm like them. such a big in person yeah. person. I need that tension, you know. Like I need to feel it vibe. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't have that. I use. <laughs> yeah. I use that. Yeah. So I like. I'm a like, lot. there's plenty of tension when you finally meet up. I don't know. Yeah, I like, you yeah. guys are so I'm on Tinder. I'm on Grinder. I feel like most people are the worst. Yeah. Like, well, Grinder. I hear horror stories from my yeah, brother. Grindr's He's crazy. like, Grinder is a nightmare. I always feel better deleting apps because it's i feel more clear-headed oh my god yeah yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah I, I have that i want I, <laughs> I don't have that i, I think my phone is stacked, enjoy, just stacked with I apps. Enjoy, i'm more gonna apps. i'm gonna yeah. show you i'm not gonna show the camera you could turn like a non-dating app into a dating app like you're i could just see you on Venmo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Haha, I, a there's a, there, there, you know what <laughs> this guy's about a hundred dollars collegehumor.com there happens to be a sketch about that exact oh, thing okay. yeah definitely go to collegehumor.com uh that's where everyone gets their college humor videos don't yeah let's be nice Oh, no. <laughs> They're definitely only on YouTube. We can't cut that. <laughs> we, can't. <laughs> we can't cut anything. I did meet a girl once on that I dated briefly um, on on an app. I think I can't remember if it was Tinder or OkCupid, but it was early. It was Tinder's pre early Tinder, like before it went, became a wasteland. Um, like there was, everyone was still hot on it. Not that. Everyone's beautiful. IAC owns but, Tinder. Uh, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. It's now no, just no, more accessible. Can... Um, okay. I no. I like putting on dating apps that I'm looking for friends because then it takes all like the weird stuff off. And I am, I meet, and especially like queer LA Tinder or whatever app. What what else I hate when someone says they're looking for friends because it's A, bullshit, B, (laughs) so much more work for me because I got to be like, is this person in the closet? Do they actually want for, do they want me to lure them out? Like, I don't deal with that. I fucking have friends. I don't, I'm not here. I'm not here to make friends. But it just makes it more like, I'm not here to make friends. The pressure off. Yes, it takes the pressure off. Well, that's what I like about. like about pressure on. That's what I like about dating apps though is, is, is. I find there's less pressure of like you, everyone on the apps is there for the same thing. Sure. And so yep. if you're connecting with someone, it's like, okay, are we going to meet in a romantic fashion or are we not? If I meet mm-hmm. someone in real life, which I also enjoy, but mm-hmm. it's like, I don't know the rules of this interaction yet, which does make there be some tension, mm-hmm. but it also makes it harder for me to shoot a load with that person. Jesus fucking Christ. Christ. I like it. I like shooting loads with people. Is that what you're about says? Uh-huh. Looking to shoot a load? Look, the what, best is my, what is my about oh, Here's the thing. Oh, God. Put Read the it. pressure on and the load will This is better. very That's Scorpio all. of you. <laughs> Moving on. No. Uh, uh, any yes. more locker room talk? That's what this uh, <laughs> vodcast just got changed to. Locker room now fucking rules. It's what still was, a great place to sit. Did you guys have like locker room talk? Like just like, cause I feel like a lot of girlfriends I had were really into just talking about sex all the time. Oh, and I, I yeah. didn't lose my virginity till late. So I just gave a lot of blowjobs. And I remember just being like, <laughs> I'll just get good at this. And then I can have a thing to say. Um, no way. But all the girls I was around didn't like blowjobs. So I just, I always just felt like something was off. And then I was like, I don't know. Maybe that was what it is. Yeah. I, I like the uh, the very like transactional feeling. Of That's the gay job. of you. Yeah, because That's, that I, means yeah. that you're full gay. I was just um, like, I'm go- you know what? <laughs> I sometimes wonder because I always think about women when I have sex with men. Um, do you count down? No, and I do. <laughs> and I, say, I still enjoy it. So I, that's why I don't think I'm just gay because mm-hmm. I like men, but I also like to think about women when I'm with them. Hmm. It's I complicated wonder. and I love it. <laughs> really? I feel like it is and I love I it. Do you count down? Psyche. No, no. Hmm. Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you're just like, I like have to while. go to bed. Sometimes. Like, I have work in the morning. Uh, <laughs> I do, though. I do hate... I mean, it's. I find it to be to th- there. There's a. I hear from a lot of women. It's like, ew, blowjobs are misogynistic. And I'm like, mm. I mm. fucking love giving blowjobs. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't get know. enough giving. Blow- I, I love. I, there's just too much material. There's there. a lot. <laughs> As oh, someone God. who's only into women, I'm like, what material. is all this extra? I don't. No, it's just like a it button. Is. And I don't you know have the exactly bandwidth. I don't have. I would rather give a blowjob than get a blowjob. Really? That I feels would. crazy. I That's would rather. I would nuts. rather. I. I so rarely come from a straight up blowjob. What's this? Mm. Is a good podcast. I, <laughs> I, I, this is a, this is a Wait, fun podcast to do. <laughs> yeah, fully. Um, I mean, I could see that. 
Does that mean I don't know what that means? Is it honestly. the? Is it? The I was gonna pressure? try to meet you where you are, and <laughs> I don't have any of the vocab. That's it. You know, I, <laughs> I dated one guy in college. We were both Christian, and I we think waited. I think. Thank God. I can relate to Grant though, because there's like a feeling of being in your head, right? Like that's how I used to be. Like I didn't like when people went down on me because I was like in my head thinking, oh, I have to performatively enjoy this i think i think getting a blowjob for me is too mm. passive to kind of mm. like i can't like unless You're i'm like what are i doing the hand i really need to like <laughs> if i'm gonna come from blowjob i really need to be like face fucking this is someone insane. Like dance. Dance. oh my god did you just say yeah, yeah i need insane. to be face fucking i need to be fucking someone's you know face hole <laughs> okay you know what do you want what are we doing what is this i think you guys are just hooking up with people that you're being too polite with I just you said I'm going to fuck do their face holes. Want. Yeah, I don't... Uh, polite isn't my problem. Just, I just... You need to stop worrying about manners, okay, Grant? <laughs> sure. You personally... Sure, I'm going to treat their face like an object for me to for me to shoot a load into. That's just I think you're, nice. like, talking a lot of bravado. I feel like you're like, I'm just this guy. Well, that's why... Paul no, 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 no. No, no, no. Well, and that's... No, no, no. And that's why I say... like the Scorpio and the Taurus face. No, no, no. And that's... like They're opposite sides. And that's... My point is that I'm not going to just do that to someone yeah. if I if that's not what they want but I also True, probably won't ask. come hmm. mm, interesting. Yeah. that's that's why I say like you know that's I, so funny I've hooked up with people before that were like really like bam, 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 and you're like I that's not me yeah that's someone like yeah. bit my neck like literally within like 15 seconds of knowing them and I was like absolutely not <laughs> so I need I guess it's just like different speeds you got to find someone yeah you it's a uh, you communicating non-verbally and that's what mm -hmm, you have to do i guess i just think that's such a wild swing a bite on the neck that's like animal a bite on the neck this <laughs> like from the person who saw someone attacking. cleaning up papers and saying that's the hottest <laughs> and thing i was in the world. wet as fuck <laughs> oh my god I, as long as you're in love with me i'll come that's all oh great. <laughs> that's so cute i'm into myself so <laughs> as long as you're in love with me i don't know how i feel about you yet but um <laughs> Oh, God. All right, great. Um, we are to the point in the show, which is actually my favorite part. Uh, we have viewers submit questions to the show. Great. Uh, we did an anonymous uh, survey this time, which is great, because that helped a lot more people ask questions. Some people don't want their names attached. Some people are still in the closet. Shout out to you in the closet. Uh, clear your cookie browser after watching this. Because um, <laughs> we <laughs> just got real crap. <laughs> Um, great. So we have a few of those. Ooh. Thank you, Paul. This was the stagecraft from before that I, that I saw <laughs> the answer to. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Um, great. So we will... Allie really wanted to be holding a candle when this show started. <laughs> I really <laughs> took, wanted to be. It took a few minutes to find a candle that would Thank light up. So, so welcome. Uh, yeah, a lot of my demands have been met. I wanted this show to be very spooky, and I think we've uh, really accomplished that. Uh, great. We have, ooh, four questions here. Uh, for those of you watching or listening, if you would like to submit a question, we will have more anonymous surveys going out. Uh, just look at uh, the Dropout uh, Discord. Thank you. There's a Discord, and if you don't subscribe to Dropout, you can find this survey probably on Instagram somewhere. I bet I'll post it. Subscribe to Dropout. Subscribe to Dropout. What are you doing? It's $3. What are you doing? $4? It's nice. Subscribe to Dropout. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, um, all right, our first question. No names are attached to any of these. Great. Once you came Hi, out. Hi, my name's Christopher Mariarty, and I am. <laughs> my, and this is where I live. I am in the closet, and I'm married <laughs> to a man. Um, once you came out, did you find yourself talking about your sexuality a lot, out of a sense that it had kind of consumed you and made up so much of your identity at the time? Not, no. No, no. I think there is a lot more of like being open with like being like you're allowed. I think the the switch that happened was I was now then allowed to be like, I think that guy's cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or or and people would like engage you in that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think so, I think some gay people uh, when they come out have a have a uh, and I wonder if this isn't what the questions in reference to like go go for it like yeah. like um uh, seem to change their identity because they have mm -hmm. um i think that is a way of sort of naming yourself and, and taking your own space and saying like this is who i am totally. and i'm not ashamed of it yeah uh and there is a performative element of that sometimes mm -hmm. um which i wonder if that's not what the question is i think that is what to. the question is i think 
some people i i also think it has to do with society being like neutral is straight Mm -hmm. and anything outside of that is like more on people's radar because sometimes i will talk about like in sketches or something i'll talk about being gay or i'll have like a female partner in the sketch and people will be like god you just beat us over the head with how gay you are and i'm like i'm fully just acting out my life and the fact that it is like coming across as me beating you over the head with the fact that I'm gay. A lot of commenters are. Yeah, I mean, no. do Grant and Allie have to be gay in every sketch? Yeah, fully. Uh, which, like, yeah, yeah, representation, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I got a fever, and that's the only cure. Like, yeah, I mean, so, internet commenters aren't nice. Can you believe that's it? Crazy. Can that's you believe so it? Crazy. Everyone's nice on the Discord, though. Subscribe to Dropout. Yeah, Discord is honestly gorgeous. Yeah, it's great. everyone's been really it's great. sweet. It's a pleasure. Um, yeah, no, so I think it might be a mix of maybe you're talking a little bit more about your sexuality because now you can and that other people are people like are very aware it of it. Yeah. yeah, I felt like I did talk more. Well, because I do stand up too, so it's like there's once I'm out, I have more stories about being out, and of course, yeah. that like folds into my stand up. But I also think I met more like other bi friends after coming out, and mm. so there's a lot more like. Oh, cool! We can connect, and oh, I didn't know you had this experience and whatever. Totally, so it wasn't like over over the top all the time, um, but I definitely do feel like I felt more open, and that led me to having more conversations that I with people about being out and about those experiences. Yeah, yeah. totally. There is an element of coming out where, which no one really tells you before you come out, is that you have to keep coming out all the time oh like you, you come out uh, yes. once a week to someone new it's yeah. it is like nope yeah, it's just a conversation you yeah. have now learn there's, your script I, <laughs> there's definitely the i just like it totally reminds me because like do i do that now and it's like i totally do do it now and whenever i think someone i mean for those of who know me i i'm pretty gay <laughs> uh, i'm pretty feminine uh, <laughs> but like sometimes yeah you'll be like in an office setting or in a meeting or something and like I'll just I will make the mental note that like I do want or like sometimes with women I like don't want them to think I'm being like a creepy guy oh, if I'm like yeah. commenting them or being like oh my god I love so I like really like dial it up yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh same do you know what I mean yeah like, totally even more so than I would totally. in like real life yeah I, like, I, like, I mentioned that I that like a guy I dated or something yeah. like work yeah. it just working in a conversation totally. totally but then there are those like you're like in an Uber and it'll be like you're gonna go out and meet some women tonight oh, god. it's okay. like I don't All need you. Uh, it's so yeah. much that it's like, okay, That's well, so funny. how do I feel like having this conversation right no, now? And I don't. Ever. I don't yeah. usually. It's like, yep, gonna go get some. Good God. Oh, that's so crazy. Ooh, if we're in, terms of, <laughs> in terms of places that are the just went most somewhere. Straight, <laughs> I fully blanked on whatever. <laughs> the most straight places in the U.S. are the Deep South. Mm. And Lyft and Uber. Yes, <laughs> it's crazy. Car seats, back car seats. Uh, you are. That is a. Oh that is God. an unwelcoming space. <laughs> Gross. I there's a that comedian uh, Sam J. Do you guys oh, yeah, know yeah. her? She has Love such Sam. a funny joke because she was like in her Netflix special. She's like really mask, like sh- like shaved head, kind of like clothes and stuff. And she's like, I don't even know if this is the kind of lesbian I am. But like, mm. if I dress like this, I don't have to keep like explaining that I'm gay to people mm. and like attracting women. She's like, maybe I like heels, but I don't know. <laughs> this is just easier. But yeah. it is so true. Yeah. You can lean into it and you're like, great, I'm getting all the results I want. Like, yeah. People I mm-hmm. want to talk to me are coming up to me now. Yeah. Like, hey. Yeah. Cool. Great. Next question. Do you have any tips for struggling with a lack of affection and love when you aren't yet out of the closet? When you can't be with someone for various reasons but are still craving it. I see everyone around me in love and I feel so starved for that feeling. Love you, Allie XX. Well, first, first, I want to say not everyone around you is in love. That is, that is cool. What it, Grant's that is what response it feels to like. this question is love is no, not real. No, I, no I'm serious. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. True. Like it's it seems it, it, it seems that way because you're projecting your own your own lack of that onto true. someone. True. And Instagram is the place that you post a sweet photo on when you're in a fight. Yeah. yeah. People who aren't in love don't talk about that. People who are in love demonstrate that. Yeah. True. Also, even when you're out um, and like both man and woman, you can also have trouble finding love. Yeah, yeah that totally. Is. So, yeah. You know, like, it's just, everyone you know, is an option. Not, yeah. huh? it, feels, still... it feels unique love to me. you yeah. that, that you that you can't find love and it is yeah. not. It's well, true. So, I'll break, I want to break this down a little bit because I feel like this is not just like a gay question. Yeah. It's like, this is very much like to get, we all like 
you know, as mm-hmm. people, we like want like affection. Mm-hmm. It's important in it anything. Is. And I think like what it comes down to is like, I or at least if I'm understanding the question correctly, because you're like, I really want even just like a handhold or like yeah. touch my foot with your foot. Like it's gonna happen, mm-hmm. but I think like most of the time, I don't know. It's that's the time where I go really like look into yourself, yes. and you're just like, I, what can I give myself? Like sometimes I'll to like get that need filled. It won't oh, be physical. Preach, but it, yeah. Ryan. This you know, is great. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Like sometimes I'll be like, I'll take myself like out or like on a date. Or, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like I don't know. It's like a good. It's a good thing because instead of reaching, you're just like... Like, what's the feeling? Like, people always feel like you have to go outside to, like, fill your hole or whatever. I mean, not literally. (laughs) No, but I know what you mean. Also, literally. I fill my hole anywhere I want. (laughs) But you can, like, you gotta figure out why. Yeah, what that thing you think is missing and, like, like, do it on your own. Because even if you're in love, like, someone, you're still gonna feel empty if you haven't dealt with that part of yourself. True. That's full codependency. Mm -hmm. Like, read a codependency book uh, that will help a lot. But it is all about, yeah, someone outside can't actually make you feel complete. Right. But you may feel that. That's true. A good one too not. is like reading. Like yeah. a, like yeah. a, like it sounds Absolutely. so silly like reading like that, you know. Like mine. Oh, oh I just had a flashback. <laughs> I just had a flashback. This feels crazy. Sophomore year high school, Twilight. I definitely read that for Edward the Vampire. Oh yeah. That writing was so bad. I couldn't get it. But like I never read it. Oh, okay. I never but read like, it either. I don't know. Sometimes because that to me will be like, oh my God. That was like my like I'm I'm dating you, that's Edward. That's where you got uh-huh. some like affection. Yeah, yeah. Just like okay. while you're. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that is that a promise. makes you feel better, and yeah. b will make you a, a more attractive partner for someone when you meet that person. Is if you are a in whole you person instead yeah. of like yeah. being when you out meet there that. like, oh, maybe I'll meet some. Yeah, totally. Take time. Also, it's great if you're in the closet. Read some like gay history books. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you may feel like you're. We we've all said it so far. Even just in the show, I came out late. There's no such thing as that. There's yeah. no I came out too right. late. There's no nothing. Read these books where people are literally like in their sixties. Yeah. And have like a secret girlfriend. Like you know, read Stone Butch Blues. Read yeah. what are some other like gay? That's the one I read literature. in college. Stone Butch Blues yeah. is. A nightmare, but it's good. Yeah, boys in the band. Yeah, if you yeah, <laughs> you want to get sad, watch boys don't cry. We're literally like <laughs> creating <laughs> a recipe for disaster. Really Spread fun. these out over Just multiple yeah. years. She, this person's like, how do I feel love? We're like cry. I said, I yeah. said, I said, <laughs> boys in the band. I said, boys in the band, but I meant and the band played on. And oh, I'm sorry. Got it. Okay. And I'm sorry. You um, should be. Another good one too that I did was like a gay teen forum. Oh, like, yes. I like you can like make your own username so it's yeah. like mm-hmm. anonymous. Um and that was like a really cool spot for me to kind of like I remember I was like 18, 19 and I just was like, "Oh my gosh, it was cool to talk to guys about guys and we'd like rate pictures of each other and just be like, "You guys are all hot." It was like Aww, it was just yeah, like, you know what I mean? while yeah. you're like not not like fully out and like there's some people who are like more out on there and some people who were just discovering it. There know. should be a Discord channel for this. There is. Some sort of, is there a gay one? Yeah. Hmm. Am I, was I not invited? <laughs> I, was just, I don't know what to I tell kind you. I kind of feel like. Yeah, there's uh, a Discord channel. I, maybe I would have seen it. Jump on Discord. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I Are you guys going to make out? <laughs> After, yeah. <laughs> um, great. All right, moving on to our next question. We've got a couple left here. Ooh, yikes, baby. Um, <laughs> all right. This is a doozy. Is it worth coming out if I will ruin my mother's life and affect our relationship with my entire family? I'm a queer person in my 20s and I've done okay at compartmentalizing my straight me and the actual me. I'm not happy about it, but I don't know if I'm willing to sacrifice every familial relationship I have. Ooh, I, I am. Please go. I have a lot to say. Oh, okay. I, say, well, <laughs> I, I have a complicated relationship with my mom as a foreshadowed before she she like knows I'm out but I had to come out to her twice because she was like in denial Um, but I I think a lot of times like we it sounds like this person's like thinking about other people's needs before theirs yeah and like no matter what you do in life even if you try to be a good person like you can't always please everyone right true and if it starts to become like you're hurting yourself because you're prioritizing someone else's needs that's when you gotta be like I gotta set my boundaries if I think that You'll feel better if you come out. I don't know what your details of the relationship are, but um, it's your mother. Of course, not all mothers do accept their kids, but you might be surprised. It's hard to tell because I don't know this specific relationship, but I also know that you need to do what's right for you and you can't put your mom before you. So if you love her and she loves you, 
it might not be like at first her first choice, but she's going to realize and work through it. And then, you know, whatever happens will be the thing that you're supposed to do. And yeah. then, and then I'm, I bet you she's still going to love you. And so, yeah, I don't know. I just think no, I had a similar thing. I'm like super religious parents. And I was like, I, I was just kind of like preempting what I thought their response would be without them having actually said anything that I thought that they would say back. Yeah. And uh both my parents are fully fine. Yeah. Like both my brother and I are very gay. They fully love us. But it is just that scary like mm-hmm. you feel like you are going to ruin their life. Like that's such a interesting way to put it. Like it, should I come out if it will ruin my mom's life? Like yeah, right? oh don't let right. that feel that's not your burden to like make or break your mom's life. Well also the other thing is like in this person's mind like they think they're maintaining an illusion that the mom just has a straight kid but they don't so already it's not yeah. like already it's a lie your parents so, know you yeah. they've watched your you grow up you. like already you're not actually that thing that you think your mom wants so just be you and then you make your mom want it because if you're lying neither of you are winning she doesn't actually have a straight kid and you're not out yeah, yeah. so nobody gets what they want I also always thought like when you're coming out to your parents or someone close to you, I'm always like, give them the amount of time it took you. I was, yes, this is, it took me 22 years to realize I was gay. Yeah. Which means my parents still have time, you know, like they came Mm -hmm. around, but yeah, it took me, think of the grappling that you went through in your own mind. Right. And give them some of that. Yeah, I think you should, it's like important, it's the most scary thing ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's so important to give, because to me it's like, that's how you know people really love you is when they meet the challenge, mm-hmm. you know? And so it's like, you give have to give them the opportunity. I was just going to gonna say, the yeah, give them, give them the chance to, uh, to, to prove to you that they can do it. Mm-hmm. You know, these are people that you presumably love. Mm-hmm. And if, and if you don't love them, what do you care if you ruin their lives? Totally. Um, but you do. Yeah. And so give them enough credit to uh, rise to the occasion, to, to rise to the like occasion. let them surprise you. It also helps uh, for me. I feel like if you write a letter, mm-hmm. yeah, it, it, like that that conversation oh, yeah. of coming out is so loaded and mm-hmm. scary. Yeah, like, yeah. and I totally get that. Write it all down, and then you're able to just read a letter and get out what you wanted. That's such a great to, idea. To, to answer to the first part of the question, is it worth it? I, I don't know what will happen to you if you come out. I don't know your circumstances. We don't know where in the world you are. I don't know where are, you are. Or, um, yeah. I will say I bet the answer is yes because coming out is so good. Yeah. It's so, you, you don't even, like when you talk about how good you are at compartmentalizing, compartmentalizing like that is so exhausting. And it's mm-hmm. toxic to you. It, yeah, Absolutely. It, it, mm-hmm. it hurts you in ways you don't even know that you're hurting yourself. Yeah. Um, you, it is, it is so deeply painful and damaging. Yeah. Uh, you don't mm-hmm. know how exhausted you are yeah. so you can put down and the weight. you'll be a better partner out than you would be in the closet. That's it. Yeah. Like, y- honestly, this is, this is perhaps controversial, but y- you're not really going to have... No one worth your time will date you if you are in the closet because that, you're dragging them back into the closet. It's true. It is very well adjusted gay people don't closet. want to go back into the closet. Yeah. Um so it you will you are sacrificing more than you think. You will be by healthier staying in the closet. Out. Yeah. yeah. That's a great moment to end on. Um great. Well, this was an hour. <laughs> When we started, we said we were going to talk about gay bars. Oh, <laughs> yeah, got, yeah. Well, that didn't happen. But gay bars are a nightmare. <laughs> um, once again, thank you so much to all my guests. I love gay bars. I can't, I can't let, th- let that gay be the last Gay bars are one. a true nightmare. Gay bars are um, awesome. I'm so anyway. grateful for them. <laughs> Uh, great. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Tales from the Closet. Uh, please hit us up. If we post a survey, please write a question. We would love to hear from you. Uh, and if you don't mind sharing your name or where in the world you are, I would welcome that. Totally. It's hit nice us, to have a little bit of Hit us up on context. social media. I, I, yeah. I love hearing from Yeah, from let's do people. plugs. What are your social media names? Do you want sure. to engage with people? What, what's yeah. Um, I feel like Instagram is kind of like my thing. Yeah. Um, it's your thing. Right, my thing. Mm-hmm. It's like my most social. You let us borrow it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is ni- which is nice of you. I, I would appreciate if you guys would give it back. Um, it's Rybrator, R R Y B R A T O R. That's great. It. Yeah, great. Oh, hey, I'm at Larissa T on all socials. I have a podcast. Can I tell them what yeah, it is? Yeah, of course, please. It's called You Can Tell Me Anything, and it's uh, people telling me secrets. Ooh. To get off their chest. Some are 
heavy some are light it's Ooh. fun great Check can i out. plug something yeah please oh my god sorry grant i'm coming in <laughs> hey did you miss me um <laughs> i i created this web series i'm obsessed with it's called we're gonna murder my boyfriend and it's like kill bill with drag queens and yes. it's like it's like a mess in like a beautiful way yes so is it out it's totally out watch it we're gonna murder my boyfriend yeah great it's my favorite thing Grant. Uh, my Instagram's pictures of Grant. Uh, my uh, Twitter is at Grant OB. Um, th- this is for College Humor fans. Why weren't you following me already, you fuck ups? <laughs> well, on that note, thank you so much, and uh, see you guys, what, in a week, a month? Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's how you how put much the pressure that, on Allie? your director. That's how you do it. <laughs> uh, awesome. Thank you so much, and be well, be safe, be happy. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Allie from College Humor. Click here to subscribe. Click here to see some more cool stuff. And if you want to see a hot babe in the city, (laughs) click here. I made that. This is what I like.